<laughs> Let's see here. I finally found a stash of the good stuff. Let's see. And, well, the not so good stuff. Oh! Hola, everyone! I'm the one, the only. I am Iho del Hobo, El Vagabundo. Dos! Wait a second. Hit my. Vamos a tequila, señorita bonita. I really need it now. And it's wrestling time. I showed up a week early. Mainly because. <laughs> tequila. Look at that. Muy mucho gusto. Muy guapo. Muy mucho guapo. See. Si. Yes, I'm here. Talk about some impact rebellion. Uh oh. Seer. So let's see here. So you know what that means. Not only do you hear my musica, but seer. Need some appropriate musica for Los Revolution. See. Let's see here. Let me find something. Oh, while I'm doing that, though, I have some. Th well, Senior Hobo Tom has some thank yous to give out. And why does this sound so. We, oh, that's why. Duh. There we go. Sounds muy better. Uh, see here. There we go. Uh, we shall get to that shortly. But we don't need that now. In Senior Hobo Tom. That's dos seniors to thank. Rob Van Stam. You, sir, know when to get out of here. Because you, sir, just got tossed. And Scott Steiner, not to be confused with one Scott Steinert, but Scott Steiner, you know what, sir? You just made it back because you just got that six count.
Christmas hair. So with that list of thank yous all done, I wondered why it was sounding quiet. Let's get some rebellion. Remember, this is just some of the best guesses. Senior Hobo Tom will not be here tomorrow. He has a date with some senora up north. So yeah. Um, probably one of the... F Match numero, numero uno. We have Jonah versus Tomoharu Ishii. Oh, no. This is going to be a sluggo fest. But Jonah is going to be victorious. And then you know what? The next thing I'm going to take a nap during would be the influence. Although, muy bonita versus the... I inspiration, I inspiration, way bonita, <laughs> as grande, si, si, si. Um, the inspiration will take their belts back. Who cares though? I'm gonna take a little cat nap. Going to go, maybe, start to hit this. Then we have Eddie Edwards versus Jonathan Gresham for the Ring of Honor Championship. Eddie Edwards is not taking that belt. Jonathan Gresham is going to retain that. And then, in my stone cold lock of the night, we have Jay White versus Steve Macklin versus Chris Sabin. The Switchblade himself, because he's too. Sweet for life. Jay White's gonna win. And then in my match up, match de la noche. For those that don't speak Spanish, it's match of the night. That's right. It's going to be Ace Austin versus Trey Miguel versus Speedball Mike Bailey for the X Division Championship. Again, we're going to see... I don't think anyone's... Because Ace and Bailey are going to have a falling out. So therefore, Trey Miguel wins. Uh, in our next match, we have... A very unique thing in the fact that it's going to be violent by design versus an eight team elimination. But you can't have a rebellion without some revolutionary music. So let's see here. Yeah, that's going to load up soon anyway you know what one on one versus the field always take the field then we have Tasha Steeles versus Rosemary for the knockouts title I think there's going to be a new winner there's going to be a new knockouts champion and that's going to be Rosemary and then in the main event of the evening, El Event Grande de la Noche, we have Moose, Moose, Moose versus Josh Alexander. Josh Alexander will get his measure of revenge. Joshua Alexander will be victorious. And that's Impact Rebellion. So there's no need for background music 
anymore. Um, I better kind of go away with this stuff. Or put this stuff away, maybe. Uh, maybe empty it a little bit more. But, yeah, we'll see. Well, Because I, th I think I heard a door. Uh-oh. Maybe Senior Hobo Tom is back from hoboing. We'll find out. Wait a second. I know that smell. I smell tequila. Rum. Limes. And wait a second. I smell a woman's. Coochie secretion. Oh my god, no. I mean, the only reason this place smells like a Mexican whorehouse is because that dirty, fake luchador, Io de la Hobo, who knows, 27 was here. Darn it. Shoot. I gotta take care of this problem one day. Goes through my tequila, makes a. Jeez, one day I'm gonna find like women's panties. A little, a little oozed up too. So, yeah, who knows? But hello, folks, you know what? Let's hit my music for a moment. Action is made. I'm the one, the only hobo, Tom. Just had a long night of hoboing. Collected my 191 pieces of aluminum, nine short. I know what I have to do tomorrow, but I'm not here to talk about that. I'm here to talk about some WWE professional wrestling, or as they like to call it over there in WWE land, sports entertainment. So we have the backlash to WrestleMania is Sunday. Oh, I hope that guy, I hope EO Del Hobo, Vagabundo 57, made that video for me maybe I should cut him some slack but <laughs> probably not um, but I'm here to talk about WWE backlash of Wrestlemania um, for right now I won't know until Friday but I don't feel like making the video Friday I have time I'm gonna make the video now so let's see here um, as far as I know there's gonna be about six matches it might add one or two more. Um, yeah, that's close enough. Because they still don't have anything for the Intercontinental title. Do they? No. They don't have anything for the U.S. title. I don't even know who the IC title holder is. Oh no, that's Ricochet. Theory just won the belt. So I'll say there'll be a rematch. Theory v. Balor. Yeah, so, so you know what? That's my bonus. Bonus match, Theory versus Finn Balor. The real rock and roller. Cause he's too sweet for life. Um, yeah, Austin Theory would win that match. Yeah, that's a little bit of a bonus. Then we're gonna have AJ Styles versus Edge again. Um, AJ Styles, I think, is gonna win this one. He's eventually gonna take out Damian Priest. Well, I don't know. Maybe the spooky lights show up. Who knows? Uh, then, in my match of the night. We have Seth Rollins versus the American Nightmare, Cody Rhodes. Because um, there can only be one royal family in, in wrestling. Well, there's more than one. But guess what, Seth? You're not it. Um, Cody Rhodes is going to win that. He's going to beat up Seth again. That'll be good. It's going to further advance. Probably, 
I'm not too sure. The Rock might be coming back for SummerSlam. That would be a good year-long program. Build up Cody, give him the IC belt, say, yeah, this was good, but I don't want it anymore. I want the big belt. So we'll see where that goes. But Cody Rhodes is definitely going to win that, though. Um, probably in the better of the two women's matches, Charlotte Flair versus Ronda Rousey in an I Quit match. I think they're going to get take that belt off Charlotte Flair. Ronda Rousey's going to win that match. We'll see what happens. And then the match I'll, I'll sober up for or go out and, and count all my aluminum pieces. Maybe steal my neighbor's aluminum pieces. Uh, it'll be... Boo, Sonya Deville! Boo! Boo, Sonya Deville! Versus Bianca Belair. Uh, Bianca Belair is going to take that belt, but you know what? I, I like Do yourself a favor and just take a nap through this match. Because it's a boo Sonya Deville match. Boo Sonya Deville. Boo. The only thing that could make this possibly interesting is if Lacey Evans comes back and somehow interferes. I doubt it though. Then we'll have the ooh Sos versus RK Bro in a tag team unification match. I think the Usos are going to come away with this. I think the Bloodline is going to hold all the belts. And they're going to dominate and bully people in the WWE. Probably up until SummerSlam. That would make sense. That would be pretty good to watch. The Usos win. And then in my stone cold lock. We're going to have Roman Reigns versus Shinsuke Nakamura. Yeah, on paper this looks good. This will probably be a good match. But you know what? It's a stone cold lock. Roman Reigns is going to win. And they might have one or two other matches. Who knows? They might un unleash Butch. Who cares at this point? I hope you gave us the thank yous out. But again, I'd like to give everyone out there a thank you. And thank you, Sonny Bimbo. It's always good to talk to you. Yep, I had a happy Easter. You are again the always underweight champion. Somehow. But yep, I'd like to thank everyone for watching. Please like, share, comment, subscribe. And I'll probably see everyone Friday because it's going to be a red wine and pizza Friday.